Hi everyone! Welcome back to Pakaing Pinoy TV. It's me again, Jen. And I'm going to teach you how to make this healthy and delicious recipe. This is called Tortang Puso ng Saging. So let's start! Here I have cleaned the banana blossom, so I will now start chopping it. While I'm chopping the banana blossom, I'm going to give you some tips on how to prepare it. First, I rub some oil into my palm and the chopping board to avoid it from getting stained. Then I also peel off and discard about 3 to 4 layers of the maroon or purple bracts from the banana blossom. Then underneath that, I was able to see the small florets attached on top, so I removed that as well. Once you see the white or pale colored heart, you can start chopping the banana blossom just like what I have here. And for this recipe, it needs to be finely chopped. Immediately, you may put the chopped banana blossom in a bowl of cold water to avoid it from getting dark. Next, I'm going to add 1 tablespoon of salt and I will let it sit for about 5 minutes. Mix it and squeeze it by hand to remove excess liquid. It should now be a little bit soft. This recipe is one of the best that you can cook for both children and adults. The main ingredient is very famous for its nutritious profile. It is packed with vitamins and minerals that are very essential for a lot of body functions. It is also reported to contain antioxidants and have certain properties that may help avoid or relieve illnesses. Next, we're going to combine the banana blossom with salt. Add one medium onion, chopped, three cloves garlic, minced, 1 teaspoon black pepper, half medium red bell pepper, 1 tablespoon all purpose flour, and 1 egg. I'm going to mix it until well blended. The mixture still looks dry, so I'm going to add another egg. Then I will mix it again. Heat a pan over medium heat and add the cooking oil. Once the oil is hot enough, scoop the banana blossom mixture and pan fry for 3 to 5 minutes on each side or until golden brown. You 
You want the edges to be golden brown and crispy. Now I'm going to flip this one and cook the other side for another 2 minutes. This one is done, so I'm going to remove it from the pan and drain the excess oil with paper towel. You can serve this with hot steamed rice and ketchup for dipping sauce. That's our final product, Tortang Puso ng Saging. I hope you can try this recipe. It's really delicious. I can assure you, your kids will love this as well. So thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to click on subscribe and tap the bell icon. For you to get the full recipe, visit our website at www at pagkainpinoytv.com and to be updated just follow us in instagram and facebook page at pagkainpinoytv1 thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on my next video bye